conferência de imprensa com Geoffrey Van Cano após o paramento para as meias finais singulares do, do My Open. Geoffrey, congratulations. Uh, it was a, a weird day because you didn't, did not play but, but yeah. went into the semis. Uh, yes, how for, did for me it's, it's, it's great. You know, I, it's my first semi final in Challenger, yeah. so I really enjoy. After I, I'm sorry for Gustavo, he was injured for today. But uh, still, I keep some energy for tomorrow and uh, I will prepare my match for good for tomorrow. And did you know anything about him? Did, were you expecting him to, to retire? Uh, no, I didn't see him. I see there was a coach. He told me for the shoulder, but I didn't see him. Uh, maybe I will find him at the hotel uh, tonight. I will try to discuss with him. And how are you, feel, uh, how are you feeling on the court uh, this week? You played a great match against Gonzalo. Yeah, great. Yeah, I feel very great on the court. Man, uh, it's, for me, it's the last week of, uh, of my season, so I feel relaxing. I feel some good, good feeling on the court. I like the, the condition. But I play court indoor, for me it's good. And uh, everything here is, is perfect, so I will enjoy. Last week, uh, you, yeah. you're not going to play the no, next one? No, we're not playing the next one. No, it's the uh, last one for me. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, uh, do, you think, do you think it's your, your best shape ever uh, on, on the court? I mean, no, not, not my best shape, because I, I play like, very well yeah. in, uh, in junior, but I think on the ATP Tour, I think it was a great tournament. I win two matches with a uh, good condition, so... Now I hope uh, we'll be in the first final or maybe title, I will try it. It's, it's your last week, like you said, it's, it's all, also the last week before the Australian Open cutoff for the quality, so you have that in mind. Are you feeling the pressure? Uh, how are you seeing this week? Because you are still looking... The yeah, yeah, for me, yeah, not, not the pressure, for me it's just the goal, you know, and uh, we try to do, to maybe, I will see the list after when, when it's done the, the, the deadline, but uh, I think I have a good chance to, to, to go there because with the vaccination, everything, every rules in Australia, you can be open to, to, to this year, so uh, we'll see. But no pressure for me, no pressure. You're going to play tomorrow against uh, Nuno, if, uh, you played against him uh, minutes ago in Davos. So what do you know about him or what do you expect about the, the match tomorrow? Uh, I played against him in junior, like in five or six years ago, so uh, we know him together like a long time ago. And uh, I think it will be a great match because he played very well and this, this year he makes a good result with one or two titles I think in, in Challenger so it will be very confident and uh, here at, at home for him he's, he's sure he has more energy so I will do my best and uh, I will hope to win to, uh, tomorrow. And like you said he played in home, uh, do you feel uh, like he's uh, the favorite for, for tomorrow? Yeah for me it's, it's favorite for sure for, 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 by, by, by the ranking and uh, by the condition I think, I think it's favorite so I uh, nothing to lose and I will do my best. In one hand you didn't play, so you are fresher, singles wise of course, but in the other you didn't play, so you didn't have more time on court. Do you think that's an advantage or a disadvantage for tomorrow? I don't know. I never play on single on the center court, so for me it will be the first match tomorrow. So I don't have any repair or have any, any uh, condition of this, but I mean, I don't play today, so I keep some energy, I will tell you, and uh, maybe tomorrow it, it could be more chance for me because I'm much bigger than physical. Does it help to have played the doubles before? Yeah. yeah. And, and yesterday, I believe, you played the Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. It's, it's not this on the same in yeah. double and single, but I see what, how is it good. I saw we have some bounce really, really strange, but it was the same for both, so, yeah. You were a top junior. You won to run around in 2016, I believe. Yeah, right. Um, it it uh, has been difficult for you to make the transition for for. Uh, it's, yeah, it was complicating. I was a little bit injured during one year and a half, so I stopped. I don't play like some good result, and I think my best was ranking was two six two hundred sixteen. So it's not a high ranking, but it's still okay. And maybe I, I will try now this year to make my my best. And uh, my goal is to play quality in uh, in in one slam. You beat Ali Asim in, in that final. Yeah. When, when you see him in the top uh, 20, top 10 uh, mm -hmm. already, what do you think? I'm just happy for him. He said, okay, he, 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 he succeeded for, for that. I mean, I, I, wait my, I wait my place and I will try, try to, to work hard for, to do it. According to the ATP, you were born in Paris and you live in, in Paris? Yeah, right. right. Yeah. How, where are you based? How do you train? Who do you train with? I train in in a, in a, in a central in a central in a, in a okay. house, in Federation in Paris. Okay. So for me it's great. Yeah, with good good condition. We have indoor court and a clay court outside. So, no, it's, so it's, for me it's perfect in Paris. So I assume your dream tournament is of course Hangar House. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.